I'm thanks for joining today, and I would talk about the basics of a database offering from the Alibaba Cloud. Uh, please let me know if you have any question, and feel free to interrupt me. And the the sharing today is pretty uh, fundamental, or I would say preliminary. So in case you want to have uh, some uh, deep dive, feel free to reach me. Yeah, by this email or uh, yeah, just post it in our chat box and I will try to answer your question uh, uh, immediately. So first of all, uh, the agenda today is uh, we will have an overview of our cloud native database offering. And as I know, we have just launched our uh, uh, data center in Philipp in Philippines. So majority of those surveys is already available. Uh, for the Philippine region. So feel free to enjoy that. The second is that I will go through uh, some of the typical use case, in particular for the major uh, industry in Philippines and also some of our very important customer uh, using our database surface in this free industry. So that's the free industry as previously explained. First is banking and finance. The second will be about the retail and e-commerce, which is particularly strong for our Alibaba group like the Taobao and Tenmao. And the third industry is gaming. And last section will go through some product briefing about some of the key database products, including our relational database, ProDB, AnalyticDB, and some of the Hadoop or Big Data uh, solution. We call them Data Lake Analytic. So that's the agenda today. First of all, uh, why Alibaba Cow? I think the fundamental reason is that Alibaba Cow is number one in the Asia region. So actually in terms of ICE infrastructure, we, the Asia Pacific region is our focus. And not just mainland China, we also have a lot of data center covering in the Southeast region, including Singapore, yeah, Sydney, Japan, yeah, Kurumpo, and Jakarta. Yeah. And also we have a uh, pretty strong uh, technology ranking. Uh, for the eye surface, uh, we are ranked number one uh, in, in, in the region. And also for the database, we are also one of the leader in the Ghana's magic quorum. So as a result, uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure, in terms of uh, technology, yeah, we are in par with our competitor. And more importantly, I think one of our critical differentiator is that we have very strong professional service support in the region. Actually, in every dock, we have a local team to cover your needs. So in case you need any uh, architectural support, uh, cow migration support, uh, application integration support, yeah, we uh, provide by far better service uh, dedicated you to your customer, to your success. So a lot of product offered by Alibaba Cloud, and I'm specialized on database. And today's topic, we also focus on the database product offering. So as previous mentioned, we have a very good uh, relational database service offering covering MySQL, uh, SQL Server, Postgres, yeah, Pass, uh, which is uh, enterprise support uh, with Oracle compatible syntax. And we so also have um, high performance uh, compute and storage separated database instance called PolarDB, which is uh, higher performance, better reliability, and support uh, strong consistency on, uh, on data replication. And we also provide comparable engine for this uh, large relational database engine. The higher performance are the relational database, we call them ProDB, which is also invented and empowered by our dedicated research team. And other than that, we also have Analytic DB, which is support uh, OLAP, online analytical workload uh, for terabyte, uh, multi terabyte data set, which also support uh, two of common engine. One is a MySQL, and that one is based on open source technology uh, uh, named Green Pump, 
actually Green Pumps also post vertical support the uh, syntax. The last one is our host service. We call them Vertica. So that's a third party solution uh, for massive parallel processing data warehouse solution uh, built by Vertica uh, cooperation. And we provide uh, native hosting for this Vertica on our Alibaba account. So other than the traditional database engine, we also support the cache and NoSQL solution. Uh, say for example, Radish, Memory Cached, MongoDB, HBase, Cassandra, CakeHouse, as well as a lot of the database uh, ecosystem tool, including the Cow Migration Essential Toolkit for Oracle and Teradata and DB2, which we call them ADAM, Advanced Database uh, Application and Application Migration. So in case you have enterprise grade workload on a uh, commercial database engine like Oracle, DB2, and Teradata, you can use this ADAM to do uh, almost uh, autopilot to convert the syntax as well as the uh, data structure from commercial database standard into our cloud native database standard. So some of our customer actually relieve the workload by more than 95% by using this automation toolkit for cloud migration. The second tool, we call them data transmission service, which is DTS. For DTS, we support, uh, 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 we call them workload migration or data replication, data synchronization from any database system to another database system. Uh, more than homogeneous migration, we say it's MySQL to MySQL, SQL Server to SQL Server, Oracle to Oracle. DTS also support heterogeneous database migration, which means you can convert your Oracle into uh, Postgres, your Oracle to uh, MySQL, or your MySQL to Postgres. Uh, uh, majority of those uh, popular database engine, we support this uh, uh, automatic uh, schema conversion from one time of database source to another time of database target. Other than that, we also provide a cloud database management uh, platform, which is called Database Management Service, in which you can perform your data operation. Say, for example, doing your DevOps uh, release management, uh, doing your development, uh, kind of uh, integrated development environment. Also, you can have your permission control, login, upgrade, everything on the database management system. Last thing is called um, Database Backup Service, DBS, which can help you to offload your on-premise data back up to cloud, uh, achieve uh, the disaster recovery scenario, which is uh, offload to cloud, or also enable the dual active scenario. These are uh, uh, also the features support the DBS. And as you see, we covered lots of products. And the focus today is based on the primary database engine, which is RDS, PolarDB, ADB, and Data Lake Analytics. So let's have an overview of our cloud native database systems. So what's the typical characteristic of cloud native database system? Primary, there's three differentiator. The first one is built for cloud which means that the database must be managed the surface. Instead, you're provisioning uh, your bare metal, provision your deploy your operating system, install your database surface, and then you provide your logging security patch, as well as all kinds of workload management, uh, which is not ideal. Uh, you may have those patterns in a, uh, in, uh, uh, in, on your off-premise uh, scenario, but in cloud, most of those things has been standardized. So as a result, you will have a very easy uh, user-friendly, uh, GUI interface to help you manage those uh, database instance, which facilitate your uh, operation management. Also, a lot of surface already be built and packaged. Say, for example, uh, security patch. Say, for example, high availability design. Say, for example, DR failover, all those things are already automated and pre built in our cloud environment. So, as a result, we believe that database on cloud should be built for cloud, and you will enjoy those uh, management easiness as well as extreme scalability or Kubernetes uh, enable the solution for the compatibility of different host environments. 
Second is the high availability. So in cloud, uh, both the compute and data storage, we provide auto redundancy. We provide automatic patch and update. We provide scheduled and automated backup and recovery. We also have built-in security to prevent multi-level pen uh, penetration and attack. The last thing is, co is cost efficiency. You will see that the total operation cost, including your development, release management, and operation control will all be automated. As a result, your operation costs should significantly reduce. Second, you will have on-demand scaling, both scale out and scale up, so that you, you can entertain for any elastic workload you have with demanding and fluctuate the business demand. And last thing, we have the HPI exposure. So as a result, uh, instead of doing human uh, operation management, you can use uh, machine code and programming to achieve uh, your DevOps experience. So when you see uh, for the cloud database management system, when you're meeting this all three essential criteria, you will see Alibaba Cloud actually pays as the leader in the magic quadrant. And we have majority five differentiating points, including cloud database market, wide variety of cloud product, productivity as a cloud native database system with technology uh, differentiation. We also have high performance on the analytic workload. And last, we have automated database tuning uh, service, we call them uh, DAS DAS. With those five core features, we are now becoming a leader in this magic volume since year 2020. And you will see that Alibaba covers both analytic and operation use case in our cloud database uh, management system. And we believe that we will continue strong strengthen our offering. And as a result, you will enjoy uh, our uh, good product and professional service support. So the as Pius mentioned for the uh, Alibaba Cloud portfolio, today I will deep dive into the RDS, ADB, as well as the PowerDB. So the differentiated key database engine product including RDS MySQL, PowerDB, ADB, and our data lake analytics service. So before going to the engine, a uh, 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 most typical question our partner or user asks is what's the use case or database uh, reference architecture for cow abduction? And this section, I will first go through those uh, use case for, for banking, for retail, and for gaming. And after that, we will have a more technical section about a database product. Yeah, so in case you have questions, feel free to raise to me. So we have tons of customers. Uh, those are those uh, for the international market. So uh, more than uh, many thousands users in the mainland China, we have good footprint uh, uh, for in the East Asia. So majority of those customers actually is uh, have a multinational or international uh, focus, uh, like the industry, like the TNG Digital. Uh, those one are, are pretty uh, financial payer in the region. First of all, uh, we would like to introduce the basic fintech business on cloud uh, high availability solution architecture. So this is typical fee layer architecture. So for the basic uh, HA design, you will see that that's a free tier architecture. You have the app server, you have the web server, also you have the database cluster. So you will put the database into two song. So as a result, any one song become uh, unavailable, you will still have the data and surface uh, to support your app and customer. So from background information, in case you know don't know what is song, so uh, in full name we call them availability song, which is uh, one data center uh, in that world. So each song would have isolated and independent power supply, network supply and resources. So uh, in case you have one failure on one zone, it's very unlikely another zone will be uh, done at the same time. So as a result, we call them this multi zone or cross AC deployment to provide very high availability of your service. So uh, very basically, you will provide an RDS instance, and then you take a uh, high available auction, which will provide another RDS safe uh, machine on another zone. 
So as a result, for every read write, uh, your data actually for every write, your data will asynchronously actually semi synchronously commit to your RDS safe. So in this way, you can almost have a recovery point objective of zero. Yeah, and recovery time objective down to second level. And if you want to have more read, since uh, for a typical workload, write may be less, far less than read. Some of a financial customer, uh, the, the read is maybe 100 times more than write workload. So you will create RDS read instance to offload your read requirement and let the RDS master to serve the write request uh, primarily. This is the, uh, the essential to achieve a high availability on the database in engine. And on top of that, you will provide a Redis cache. And this Redis cache will provide it as a service again across two AC. So for every uh, internet connection, go through the web server, you can use section stickiness to attach to our Redis instance for as a local cache. This local cache will push your performance maybe more than 100 times in terms of latency. So this way is a very typical and basic setup for a high web availability design on the FinTech service. The second one is about a more complicated uh, solution. Uh, instead of uh, you have a cross zone protection, but in case uh, your data need to be protected across different regions. What that mean? Uh, say for example, right? Uh, we take 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 example in Singapore. Singapore is uh, maybe um, a small city. If bad thing happen, like flooding, like earthquake, or like other geographically disaster, actually two data center located on the same region or country get destroyed or get disrupted, you will lose your data. Yeah, and this is not affordable for some of the large bank or not affordable for some company under stringent regulatory compliance requirement. So as a result, you will have some, we call them DR recovery capability for a course region. So now you have a region in Hong Kong. So and course region latency is pretty important for Alibaba Cow because we have our internet very good internet backbone uh, for, for the Asia Pacific region so that you can using our database transmission service called DTS to replicate your changes continuously from your region A to region B. And for region B, you have a, your another set of uh, database instant RDS MySQL sitting there. So in case the whole region break down, you will have your surface available in another region. This is uh, our mission critical fintech business in Ankao to guarantee zero data loss in case of region failover. Yeah, and this you can have RPO equal to zero for re cost region AC uh, support. And this scenario can also apply to some, uh, we call them hypercar approach. Say for example, this region A now become your IDC, yeah, independent uh, data center, or become our competitor's uh, car environment. You can also use DTS to replicate your data set from your IDC or from other car vendor into our Alibaba. As a result, you will have the cross car or multi car uh, solution, yeah, for your database workload. But, uh, other than the relational database, now you have facing very good uh, business and you would like to leverage uh, the data set created by your transactional system to provide insights or we call them analytic support to your business decision. So as a result, you will want to offload your data set for your relational database into NoSQL, say key value store, document store, like MongoDB, or you want to offload those uh, data set into multi-dimensional modeling to facilitate OLAP analytics uh, for our identity DB. One of those uh, use cases is financial document processing. Actually, all those sourcing are RDS or some log application. You can now using our DTS 
to replicate those RDS data as well as log data into MongoDB and periodically sync those MongoDB into an analytic DB for OLAP analysis. So this one, you have document store to support a semi-structural document processing. You will have an analytic DB to support multi petabyte scale, uh, uh, multi-dimensional analysis. And all those things can be provisioned in our Alibaba cloud in terms of minute because those data pipeline are predefined and you can provision them as a surface and run it instead of building your own ETL solution yeah, from scratch. And another uh, database requirement is we'll call them log analysis or uh, matrix analysis. Log and matrix and actually machine generated data set. And those uh, have a time stamp associated with each record. And to analyze those records, most likely we would, like, we, would like, we would like to upgrade for the time dimension. And we call this kind of analysis called time series data analysis. And on Alibaba Cloud, we provide timestamp database TSDB or uh, our commercial offering called InfastDB to provide those kind of stock trade uh, application log transaction billing time series analysis. So for the time series DB is pretty straightforward, right? You can use a telegraph to replication your log into Infast DB or uh, TSDB or using open source solution like Falcon, which will be independently hosted and on our ECS instance. And those data will be continuously replicated from the source system into the time series DB. And you can use in Grafana as open source solution or using Quick BI to have those analytic view. So typically time series DB are focused on aggregation on the time dimension. And you can achieve 10 times or 100 times performance push in compare with other database engine. So this is uh, our high level overview for financial uh, uh, market data analysis, which is a, a typical time series database uh, solution. So this is uh, for database backup. Yeah, we have five database backup scenario, including cloud database uh, backup, which you run your own IDC and you just want to make a copy of a snapshot uh, into a cloud. In case your IDC is down, you still keep your data. You can use our DTS to make a backup and recovery very fast. And then you can also have a backup recovery on cloud, which means that you uh, your source database instead of on your IDC, now the database are on our Alibaba already. You can also have a disaster recovery, yeah, which means that instead just uh, containing a uh, log archiving or export of your data set into cloud, uh, you are now have an active instance on cloud. In case of disaster happen on your source system, you can just uh, switch your IP connection to our DR solution and to have your business continuity support. And the fourth scenario is the active at setup. So now you have two connection, one to your own IDC, another one on the cloud. And actually you can redirect your primary workload on the cloud and use your own IDC as a backup. Last one is we call them a release uh, management or dev or integration using a cloud to provision a dev or a testing environment and hosting your own production environment on, on, on premise. Those are the five use cases for financial service. So in case you have questions, feel free to reach me. And this is our integrator reference architecture. So for our leading band, yeah. Actually, you will see that they will have an uh, application host on ECS and for all their mission critical workload uh, for transaction. So this is for online transaction. So which means that you have an application, you have now uh, writing your app direct connect to the DB. You will have a Redis, PolarDB and RDS as a core of your transactional DB. And then when you have a data warehouse, you will using it uh, and the QDB for massive parallel processing and support those uh, OLAP analytic surveys. And if you have a um, quick business and now you have more than the structural data, you have a semi-structural document, you have log, you have kickstream, 
and you want to process those things in real time, you will set up your data lake with our OSS as object storage and serverless Spark uh, for streaming analytic and machine learning, as well as connecting to various uh, NoSQL database <coughs> to support all other kind of workload. And lastly, you will have a customer facing center. One of them we call them BI center, another one we call them AI center. BI stands for business intelligence, AI stands for artificial intelligence. So for BI, basically, which is a dashboard, uh, OLED analysis, just like your Excel, and you want to have various kind of reporting to have a descriptive analytic of uh, your past performance. And for the AI center, most likely those are image recognition, natural language processing, voice recognition, and image recognition. And those things you can using our container surface uh, to provision your uh, deep learning workflow or I can't calling our web service API. So this is our end to end uh, for the financial data intelligent processing framework. So the, again, the beauty of cloud is that you have uh, your, our, our reference architecture and you can provision those surface in minutes. Moreover, all those connecting compound component by by doing your data integration is already pre-built and pre-defined. Instead of building everything from scratch, you can kickstart your prototyping with our cloud native offering in minutes. So that's our financial use case. So what's the typical challenge for retail business? Number one is that customer come in random order, or we call them Pareto uh, statistic distribution of customer query, which means that yeah, during lunch hour, you get more food sold. And in the midnight, you don't really have business. Yeah, this fluctuality of demand will increase or will introduce the fluctuality of connection and workload of your database system. So how to entertain yeah, this uh, unpredicted or we call them fluctuality of those uh, user demand is uh, leverage the elasticity in terms of scale out capability of our database service. As a result, yeah, when you have more business, you scale out your database engine to handle those workload. And this makes sure you don't have stored connection or unresponsible user interface on your app uh, for customer side. This is the number one uh, pain point for majority of the retail customer. And our solution for that is pretty easy. Instead have one Reddish cache, Alibaba Cloud provide Reddish cluster. So this cluster can scale out to handle a million concurrent transaction or a million concurrent transactions. Yeah, and then uh, on the database persistence data engine layer, you have the PolarDB, which also provides scale out capability to handle hundreds of terabyte transaction uh, capacity. And in fact, PolarDB can uh, scale out in minutes because it decouples the compute processing power from the storage engine. You need to just scale out the compute, compute node, uh, but the storage, uh, the same, so that uh, it achieves very high elasticity to handle uh, uh, customer uh, explore, explorational growth. After that, yeah, the retail, uh, th the second pain point of retail business is that uh, you don't want the analytic workload mixed with the transactional workload because uh, your customer actually is using your app or website directly. You, do not, you don't want the analytic performance yeah, in showing the report, drag down your user experience or drag down your web page response time. So as a result, you want to have a near real-time synchronization from your source relational transactional database system to replicate those data to analytic DB. And here you can do your multi-dimensional analysis because the database are separated so that your resources are separated. 
so that your workload are separated and would not influence each other. By using our DTS to synchronize your source data based system in the ADB, you can achieve near real time analytics and you have workload isolation. That's the second uh, solution to address the, the customer ping pong on analytics. The third one is again, uh, more than structural data. Now you would like to analyze a customer kick stream uh, because the web log from the web log or mobile uh, app log, or you want to analyze the workload of your infrastructure. All those things can using the log surface to replicate those log into our data lake analytics solution so that you can do more advanced user uh, profiling, mass customization to offer different customer, uh, different kind of product mix, or you can do the product recommendation due to the feedback or uh, machine learning output from the DLA. So this is the very low cost or we call them uh, on-demand analytic uh, solution for big data. Last one, yeah, this is the overall reference architecture yeah, for retail business, specifically for our food and beverage uh, customer. They have the POS, they will have the app using Red Desk customer as the buffer and using the PolarDB to support those uh, dynamic or elastic customer demand. And for the back office op system, yeah, they can using the RDS to have a more uh, favor cost, uh, uh, cheaper solution. And then they're using DTS to synchronize those customer facing app and business facing app into the ADB. And on ADB, they can perform their holistic analytic uh, to generate those operational report. And lastly, using the data lake analytic and log surface to replicate the Kickstream infrastructure log uh, into the data lake and then load it back into the ADB to support uh, um, um, uh, uh, reference data. So that's the retail solution. So for gaming, the top five pain point is that traffic bars. Yeah, Gamma comes uh, together in a minute. Yeah, so that they will create a very exceptional or exponential uh, workload on the database system. And um, particularly for those uh, social apps, which means that uh, when a game organizer creates some competition or event, typically the customer jump in a batch. Yeah, the second one is uh, improved user engagement. So say for example, the leader uh, leaderboard scoring card, yeah, which uh, create a competition among uh, different payer. Yeah, the first is uh, when your business growth, you have too much server and too much database. You want to optimize your cost. And this is introduce a solution how to do the server merge. The fourth is a gum roll bed. So say for example, you have uh, released uh, management and you found some bug on your uh, production environment and you want to roll it back and how to do it. Or maybe you uh, actually have some digital wallet on your game and you find that someone abused the user and cracked your credential and steal your money or steal your weapon uh, or unfair game pay. And now you get a campaign and you need to roll back how to do it very efficiently without impacting other user. So this is, uh, we call them game rollback scenario. The last one is uh, uh, how to generate, uh, we call them traffic purchase. Yeah, you need to place your advertisement into Google, into Facebook, into some social forum, or maybe go to other advertising channel and how can you analyze those uh, advertising uh, costs and, and benefit uh, research. Yeah, and those are five typical use case uh, uh, our, our gaming industry user yeah, uh, would like to have a solution on that. So on addressing a traffic budget, uh, pretty straightforward, uh, same as, uh, retail industry, you are using scale out yeah, the, 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 the database compute node. So instead of using RDS, as you see above diagram, when you scale out an RDS node, actually what are you copying? 
you're copying the compute instance, which provision of VM, you know, which may take a couple of minutes. But if you have a RDS with one terabyte of data, so the second thing you have to copy is your data set. Copying a one terabyte data will cost you four to five hours, which is pretty long in the cow environment standard. So now, if your game user who come in the next 10 minutes, or you have an advertising event, which generate huge amount of unpredicted user traffic. Say for example, uh, you know that in the next 10 minutes, you will have uh, two times of user coming in. Can you scale out your RDS in 10 minutes? The answer is no for large database because the network constraint to move one terabyte of data through a 10 gigabyte network, which will require at least two hours. So in order to, to address this a very elastic uh, user demand, you need to have a separation on the compute and storage layer, which is our quality design. So what is separation of compute and storage, which means that uh, you, you can view this database as a two, has two parts. One part is processing your query, and other part is storage your data. For PolarDB, multiple of a uh, compute uh, instance actually loading or pointing to the same PolarDB file system or storage. This data is shared across multiple PolarDB copy. So as a result, when you replicate, scale out the database instance, you need to just provision a VM and then they point to the same file storage. As a result, you can achieve mini level scale out capability. And by leverage this PolarDB uh, feature on separating compute and storage, you can address the traffic bash. Yeah, ping pong. Okay, improve user engagement. So this one is more uh, demanding workload on the caching layer, because when you have gaming, actually score uh, keep increasing or decreasing for some user and you need to maintain a cache set which has a top score on the top and the lower score on the bottom. So if you have large user, this cache set can be pretty large. So how to design a very efficiency cache engine to support this leaderboard uh, uh, solution you can leverage our Redis cluster. So which is a multiple uh, Redis set to provide a scale out uh, experience to remove the performance bottleneck. So by using scale out cluster on the Redis enterprise cluster, you can have a very high concurrency update on the, on the, the cache engine. You can have some disaster recovery architecture to support new data center to ensure data availability and you can carry three times query per second uh, uh, against our community addition. So by using a shorter set on our cache, uh, enterprise Redis cache, you can improve the user experience for those uh, leaderboard scenario. Okay, the first solution is server merge. So good news, uh, your business growth, bad news, you spend more on the database, yeah. So uh, typically you don't want your course and performance to become a linear, uh, which means you get 10 times user, you spend 10 times on the infrastructure. That doesn't really good in cloud environment. So as a result, you want to figure out is any way you can consolidate your database engine in order to support exponential growth of your customer. The answer is yes, yeah. You can consolidate your database into one or a few more instance. Say for example, yeah, a, a lot of them, uh, one, two, three, to consolidate one database engine and use this large database engine instance to support multiple workload. So you can using a database migration uh, solution uh, to cover this um, database migration for MongoDB, MySQL, Redis, which is DTS. And then the DTS data migration, including uh, a schema migration, uh, a full data set migration, incremental replication of data, and more importantly, this migration is zero downtime. 
so that you will have an interrupt business. And after that, you can use our data lake analytic surface to process uh, analytic workload on this uh, consolidated database engine. So uh, by doing so, you can almost have risk-free server migration, yeah, uh, or server consolidation for cost uh, saving. Okay, last one uh, is, uh, uh, the second last one is uh, game rollback. So this one is leverage our database uh, backup surface to have incremental and continuous backup on your source database system. And as a result, uh, when something bad happened, you can selectively roll back with our database uh, instance to provision and other database or revert your database image to POS point in time to support POS point in time recovery. Uh, if you don't want to replicate the whole database, you can also using the DLA uh, to offload or to roll back a subset of database data. Lastly, uh, the traffic purchase. So this one is a uh, is, uh, big data analytic so that you can load your um, stream, your server performance data, your cost data, your advertising impact and customer landing uh, page, uh, click stream, or into an ADB. And on the ADB, which stands for analytic DB, you can perform report or OLED analysis to support those uh, uh, insights such that you can guide you on how to spend your money on traffic purchase. So, that's the product highlight for our core product to support uh, gaming. So one of them is a Red Disk Enterprise Cluster. Another one is a extremely scalable PolarDB. And for analytic is the ADB, yeah. This is our reference case, right? As you see, right? Uh, actually the reference case, or we call them the reference architecture can support cost industry. This one is very similar to the financial solution. So the key point is that the same technology is that very similar blueprint. When it put into the right pace, you can support different use case. Gaming solution, ECS application server, transactional workload, data warehouse workload, big data analytics, BI center, AI center, exactly the same, yeah. So that's the reference case for gaming. So now we have finished our sharing to the fee industry. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to reach me or place it on the chat console.